All right, the much misunderstood left arm. Your left arm needs to stay in the same place relative to your body throughout your whole golf swing so that the club can stay square and in good positions throughout your swing. Your left arm can bend and fold on the, on the way back and on the way through without changing without changing the radius of your swing. Here's what I mean by that. See how if I fold my left arm up, the club head draws a circle. I have bent my elbow. And when I unf unfold my elbow and straighten out my arm, that club returns to that exact same spot. If I take it back, then my upper arm comes away from my body and changes from the way that I started. Then when I straighten out my arm and return, try to return to that same spot, it is in a different place. It is further away from me. And if my left elbow pulls across my side, pulling the handle closer to me, the circle is shortening. The distance between my chest and where that club head actually started, which would be your address position, has become shorter. This is what we see a lot in guys that try to get underneath the ball and help up in the air and, and keep their head down. Their reasons for missing the ball and hitting the top of it is not because they lifted their head, it's because their arm, their left arm or both arms at that point, got shorter. They got closer to them. So the club head is swinging up and the arms are getting shorter. So this is where you start at. And this is where you're trying to return to. If your left arm changes at any point in your backswing or coming through into the ball, then you will not be able to consistently return to this same spot. The only thing it should be doing as your body's winding up and unwinding towards the target is folding and unfolding and then folding again. If it grows on the way back and gets away from your body, you're going to have to fix it at some point in time to find that golf ball again. If your left elbow pops out on the way through, this means that the club's got shorter and you've actually ended up swinging up. So the handle of the club pulls, the left elbow is now facing towards the target instead of towards you, which means that there's an angle in the club face. This is the angle that you presented to the golf ball on the way through. And angles like this can happen at any point in your golf swing. And fixing them at 100 miles an hour is next to impossible to do consistently every time, which is what we're after in the golf swing. So to keep that radius the same, your left arm needs to be really relaxed, almost like a wet noodle or a dish rag. And you wind back with your left lat and left shoulder directly sideways behind the ball and for every click you move your shoulder, your, arm, your left arm is moving. If you're flexible enough to do that, like these guys, and have your shoulder wind every click to the top of your backswing, then that's great, that's fine. I'm not flexible enough to do that, and what I found is 
that if I relax my left arm and allow it to bend, it is a much more powerful, better position for me to drive forward from and make everything happen in the, fr in the through swing that I want to have happen. My left arm stays close to my body, it folds on the way through, and that's the whole point of this deal, is if you relax your left arm and let, allow it to fold through the ball so that your elbow points to the ground, then it allows you to hit the ball with your whole right side completely with free access to your target. If your left arm pulls and becomes the dominant one, then your right side will become trapped. It will hold your body back. You'll have some bad angles and face angles in the golf club, which means crooked golf shots. And you won't be able to use all those big muscles in your body to transmit the power into the golf ball. As soon as that arm comes off or gets stiff, then really you're only swinging around with a big old stiff left arm. And no matter what you do with your body, it won't have any impact to the golf ball. So based on your body type and your flexibility and how wide you are across your shoulders and things like that, you might be better off allowing your left arm to bend a little bit. It's going to put you in a stronger hitting position through the ball. It's going to put less tension less tension in your arm and it's going to allow all the good things you want to have happen through, on the way through the ball and if you look at baseball players their left arms bent they're wound back and I mean they hit it pretty hard and they, they knock the ball out of the park if a straight stiff left arm was really a position of power and of any importance then they'd be doing it too So it's not what your left arm looks like back there. You're looking for the best place that you can hit from, the best place you can drive forward from, fire that club back to the ball, fire it through towards your target and unwind your body. And if you're trying to do it with a straight left arm and those things aren't happening and you don't look good through the ball and your positions are off after impact, then you might want to take a look at your left arm and relax it and 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 see if you can get some of the some of the stiffness and the tension out of there if I were to tie your right arm behind your back and you were going to hit something really hard with the back of your left hand would you do it like this or would you do it like this the second way, all the unwinding and the power from your body gets transmitted through your arm into whatever you're hitting. And it's the same with a golf swing. Either your arm's swinging off into your body, which, which swinging off in la-la land away from your body, which means all you're doing is swinging your arm around. That's the importance of having a good left arm. And the amazing thing is... If your left arm sat on your shoulder nice and relaxed on the way back and you stay out of the way of it and don't grab or put any tension in it, if you unwind your body from the ground up and drive your body through there to face the target, like we talk about, then your arm will get will unwind and get long on the way down. It will straighten out on the way down. That's, I guess, centrifugal force or, or centripetal or whatever. It's like a rock on a string. You fling your body around and your arm will straighten out all by itself. You're not going to come into the ball with it bent as long as you, as long as you stay out of the way of it and, and let it be completely tension-free. That way the club's going to find its own circle on the way through there. As soon as you interfere with it and grab then you're breaking all those forces and you're changing everything. You want, your, you want your, your arms to go from short to long at the ball 
long through the ball and then fold again on the way through to your finish. The complete opposite of that, which is what I see all the time, is long stiff arms on the way back and short crumpled ones on the way through.